All right, welcome back to Good Morning Arizona. We've got Home Depot Debbie here yes. with uh, some tool hacks. That's right. Good morning. Hints, tips, hacks, whatever Tip you want to we call saying. them. <laughs> Some people right. are like, what's a hack? And so, <laughs> I mean, in my age group. Yeah. Right. Um, anyway, these are just some hints and tips. Like, if you don't have what you need at home, okay. there's like household things you can do to get you through your project All right. and or help you out. So, the first thing I want to talk about is magnetizing your tools. So, some hammers come like this that say magnetic mm -hmm. nail holder but if you don't have that you know this one here is an awesome hammer but the nails don't stick to it you see okay and you can but weirdly enough the magnet sticks to it and then you can stick your nails to it and have nails right there for you when you need them mm. you can also hot glue the magnet to it if you want a little more stability the hammer. but isn't that yeah. weird that the Magnet sticks to it, but, but not the nails. The nails. Don't. I mean, I just thought that was strange. And Does then, that one stick on that? Oh, no. Well, it's, it's the shaft there. Oh, so, okay. but and then for a screwdriver, you can also add a magnet to it, and then add the nails or screws, if you will, because you're using a screwdriver. Okay. So then, or we've got this little device called a magnetizer, and what you do is you can demagnetize it and if you put the screwdriver through there it will not pick anything up okay and if you magnetize it and this will work on any tool Ooh, magic. picks it right up <laughs> so this is a great little tool to have and then you don't have to oh. add anything to it um, isn't that awesome yeah. so then also another little uh, little trick is people don't realize with a utility knife mm -hmm. these are the break off blades right but it's so hard to use a needle nose what are you going to use to use it but you can actually just use the bottom of it has a slit in it. Okay. And then you're just going Snap to put your yeah, don't yeah. don't slice your hand up. Yeah. You put your hand in there and then you break it off like that and it breaks the next uh, thing off and gives you a fresh blade. Okay. So just use the bottom for that. And then this is a really fun little thing. So if you don't have a wrench and you need to uh, screw a bolt, all you have to do is take a longer bolt and you might have this in the toolbox two nuts, mm -hmm. one all the way to the end, and you're just going to put I'm it right screwing. there, mm -hmm. and you're going to lock it in, and then this is going to turn it for you. So if you don't have a wrench, you can use other nuts and bolts to screw it for you. Also, if you don't have the right size wrench for what you need, okay. it's too big, right? You can use coins to just slip them in there, and you might need one, you might need two, depending right. on what the thickness the is. And then you're just going to make your wrench smaller, and that will turn your your bolt. Your bolt, nice. just like that. All right, I like this little gadget. This is fun, right? Okay, so if you're screwing uh, a hole in the ceiling or wherever you are, and it's making a mess, all the yeah. drywall dust is falling. This is a little contraption that you can make. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a water bottle and your utility knife, and you're just going to cut it. You're going to drill a hole right in the bottom of it and then you screw it right through the drill bit and mm -hmm. it makes a cup to hold it. Now if you want a bigger one, you can just use a two liter bottle and then you have a really nice big uh, catch-all for all the dust. And so, so all the dust will just trickle down yeah, and fall if you're, in Yeah, especially if you're drilling up, oh, it falls nice. right in. If you're drilling this way, it falls right in the, in the cup right here. So it really helps in cleanup. So this is just a little fun thing. And then also, you can take your drill bits. Now say you only have, uh, look at the mess we're making here. Say you just have, you want to go a certain depth, okay. but you, you're worried, I'm going to go up, too Debbie. far. All right, well this is really fast. <laughs> okay. You don't want to go too far. You're just going to put your tape exactly where you want it. Measure down, put your tape there. So when you're drilling in, you're you know only going to go. go that far. And then at 920, we're going to have so many more of these fun little hints and tips to get you through your projects. All right, thank you Home Depot, All Debbie. Right. That's your tool hack. Bo Debbie, yep. she is talking about some cool tool hacks. So things you probably have around the home, yep. you can actually use as tools. I think I have a couple of these <laughs> in my refrigerator <laughs> right now. 
And I don't uh, have, I don't drink beer, so I don't have any of those. That's so, that's Scott. That's Scotty. Scotty, you got to drink this when you get home. No boozing on the job. Uh, what are we going to start with, Deb? So earlier we talked about a few different uh, fun things, how to magnetize your tools to hold your uh, nails handy when that's you're cool. hammering and your screws on your screwdriver. Um, also using the bottom of a, a two liter or a, or a water bottle to catch the dust from your, so you uh, when you're your drilling. And, exactly. Yeah. Just a couple fun things. Um, and then now we're going to talk about a few other stuff Ooh. for hanging pictures and stuff like that. So one thing you can do is, and we, you were just mentioning this, so let's go with that first. If you don't have a hook, you know, we have all these uh, great hooks at Home Depot, but if you don't have one handy and you have to hang a picture, so you can cool. use the tab right from a can. And that's just why I have this, so you can use any tab. Okay, I hot glued it onto the back, but you can screw oh. it onto the back. You're going to bend the top down. It and that, feels sturdy. It is very sturdy. And then we're just going to hang it right on the uh, screw right there, and there boom. There we go. So that's something really easy, and everybody's got some uh, top I have tops never seen that done. hanging around. Very clever. Thank you. The next one um, you can do is... I have a lot of these <laughs> everywhere. This is a fine tooth <laughs> comb, and this is great for when you're hammering. Instead of having your fingers in the way, uh -huh. you can just put the uh, comb there to hold the nail, and that will give you a nice sturdy um, hold so you don't get your fingers involved. So just a little, another little, just a little something. Comb there. Then if you have to remove a, a nail from the wall, yeah. inevitably you're going to get a scuff on the wall from the hammer. So when you're doing this yes. and you're pulling, it's scuffing the wall. So one way to prevent that is to just put a sponge underneath, and then when you pull this out, it bridges the gap and <gasps> no mess. Oh my goodness. Right? That's a good one. That is, these last two, all now, of them have been great. Here's another one that's, uh, it's been around for a long time, but people forget about it. So say one of your uh, screws that's holding the hinge on your door uh -huh. or anything in wood is getting loose and a little stripped, but you need to use that same screw. All you need to do is use some flat toothpicks. Round will work, but flat is better. better. And then you're just going to put the toothpick down, break it off, keep going until it's filled, and that will give you new meat for the screw to hold up on. So ah. once you get this filled with your toothpicks, now you can screw the screw back in and it's gonna be really tight. So it kinda just, instead of wood filler, you have a you toothpick filler. Toothpick. Tooth, toothpick. Toothpick. Filler. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> tooth. Another Pick. one tooth. that's uh, actually really nice is this is a tape measure. Now, a lot of times when you're measuring, you need to mark it, but you don't have all the hands. So if you do this and you get to a foot, you can just go sideways like this, pull, go sideways, mm. and this will mark mm. your place. And this is just an office clip pencil and tape measure. I feel like I need to write notes. <laughs> I'm like, going to have this all this This is stuff. all great stuff. So I've done this so many times and I always am like, oh, wait. Exactly. So you just put a little clip on the back with the yeah. pencil. Isn't that great? And then you can. Well, as you go. As you go. So exactly. you're like a foot. 12 foot. Yeah, 12 inches. Two feet. To, okay. Exactly. The next one is, this is um, depending on what size you need. If you need a line, a, a straight line along the edge of a wall, if you're installing flooring or whatnot, instead of just using a T-square, you can use a washer, and if, depending on the measurement you need, there's different size washers, and you could just use a pencil, and as you roll, oh. it's going to make the same dimension all the way, as you can see. We've got about three seconds left. All right. Well. These are really fun, so I want to make sure you know about it. This one, if you have to hang a picture in two Aww. spots, uh -huh. it's hard to get it level and everything. Yes. And you can just use toothpaste. Really? And you're going to mark here and here, and it will come off. And then you just use this to mark the wall, for example. Put your nails in there and then wipe the toothpaste off, and that's going to give you your even spacing and everything. <laughs> I know. Whoa. I know. My mind is blown <laughs> today, Deb. You so are. there's a lot more um, fun stuff. Oh, we have to say this okay. one. I'm sorry. This is a paper clip. Uh -huh. Now, inevitably, your glasses get loose and the little screw, oh, you don't yeah. have that precision screwdriver. All you need to do is unbend the, the paper clip, hammer the edge, and flatten it. And it gives you one of those flat precision screwdrivers to tighten up any small screw, especially in your eyeglasses. Ooh. I know. I think I need to tighten some <laughs> of my glasses right now. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, where can people find all the information? So it's going to be on uh, theazfamily.com on my 
Facebook, like me on Home Depot Debbie and Instagram, um, and I'll have all the information there. Thank you so much. You're this welcome. was good. Lots of interesting stuff. So Thank definitely you. head on over to our website. Take notes. We're going to see you right back. More Good Morning Arizona up right after this.